Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? So we're here with some more Roy Orbison. Gonna be checking out Oh, Pretty Woman. Now, I always thought this song was just called Pretty Woman, uh, but apparently the actual title is Oh, Pretty Woman. So I have heard this song before. I've seen the movie Pretty Woman uh, growing up. Now, that's been a long time. I was a child uh, when I saw that movie, and that's probably the only one or two times that I've seen that movie was when I was a child, but I remember this song. It was the song of that movie, right? Um, so I do remember this song. I haven't ever sat down and listened to it on my own. So this is going to be a first uh, true listen of Oh Pretty Woman, although I do understand the melody and all that stuff of the song. Now, even going back to then all the way to now, one thing I didn't know until I started this channel was one, who Roy Orbison was. I didn't know about him. I've been learning about him here. I didn't know this gentleman too. I definitely didn't know he did this song. So it's interesting. Now I'm a few songs in. Now I understand a little bit more about Roy, the importance that he had, the influence, uh, the groundbreaking style that he had. And to now pair it with this song, which I've known pretty much my whole life, um, not knowing it was him though. So let's go ahead and check this out, man. It's going to be pretty awesome. Checking out Oh Pretty Woman from Roy right here today with you guys uh, here to witness it. All right, let's go ahead and see what's up. Here we go. Yep. Pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman, the kind I like to meet. Pretty woman. Yeah, Roy was slashing on this one. Dude, I gotta say, obviously I, I understood the melody. I remember a little bit about the melody, a little bit about that riff. That riff came back as soon as it started playing. I said, oh man, I remember that riff. There's so much more going on that I didn't know. Okay, that, that drumming's nice, but dude, I gotta say those keys livened up this track at this one section. I want to cut back to it. Man, those keys came to life and they were really going to town and the guitar totally switched its tune. It, it went into this really echoey uh i don't know tune um pedal i don't know effect 
is what they had on it, man. Uh, really dope. And of course, the story is fun, right? This this woman is pretty beyond belief. It has to it can't be real. This is not true. I'm not in reality. I'm in a dream state pretty much. Uh, but no, he comes to he's like, wow, this is a real thing. I hope she doesn't just walk by me. Are you lonely? Just like me? We can feel each other's company. We can be one. Uh, please notice me. She goes on. and He's like, well, all right. Uh, tomorrow is another day. All right. Let me just continue with my life. And she turns back around. She noticed him. She's coming back. And the song ends on that nice, nice, high hopeful uh, vibe where it's like, hopefully Roy is going to get this lady, right? Uh, but let's go ahead and cut back to that section, guys. Man, it's beautiful. All right, this is about where it all switches up. The guitar switches up. The keys come to life, man, and they are flourishing. All right, they're flourishing here. Let's go ahead and take a listen. I'll tell you what that is. That's blissful, man. That is blissful right there, man. That section I can get lost in for hours. That is so beautiful, man. Those keys really livened up the whole joint. But it's not just the keys. It's just, I don't know, the switch pulls everything to another level on this song, man. That is a beautiful section. I love it. I love that section so much, man. The song's great on its own. There's something magical right there that's happening to me that I'm just like, I can stay here for a while, okay? This is so good. That's my take, guys. That's my take on that. All right, so let's take a moment to learn a little bit about Pretty Woman. So we've got Oh, Pretty Woman coming off of a single from Roy Orbison. Uh, it's also from the album Oh, Pretty Woman. This is non-US. Uh, so it's a single and The Candyman. I don't know. That's Roy Orbison and The Candyman, I guess. Okay. Uh, this was released in 1964, um, and it is the song writers are Roy Orbison and Bill Dees. Okay, so Oh Pretty Woman, or simply Pretty Woman, is a song recorded by Roy, um, written by Roy and Bill Dees. It was released as a single in August 1964 on Monument Records. It's been three weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 uh, from September, well, there you go, um, the second and final single from Roy Orbison to top. The U.S. charts, really? Huh, okay. It was also Orbison's third single to top the U.K. singles chart uh, for a total of three weeks as well. There you go. So, Oh Pretty Woman was later used for the uh, title, uh, oh, later used for the title of the 1990 film Pretty Woman starring Richard Gere and Julia Roberts and the tw uh, 2018 Broadway musical Pretty Woman the Musical. So, overview. The title was inspired by Orbison's wife, Claudette, interrupting a conversation to announce she was going out when orbison asked if she had enough cash his co-writer bill Dees intersect uh, interjected a pretty woman never needs any money uh orbison's recording so maybe that's just why he gave him um well it's his co-writer but i'm wondering if that's why he gave him credit was because he pretty much said a pretty woman and up oh, there we go we got an idea orbison's recording of the song was produced by fred foster on august 1st 1964 there were four guitar players at the session where orbison Billy Sanford, Jerry Kennedy, and Wayne Moss. Sanford, who later played on sessions uh, for Elvis Presley, Don Williams, and many others, played the intro guitar. Other musicians on the record included Floyd Kramer on piano. Oh, man. Yeah, that piano, Floyd. I tell you, man, you brought, uh, you brought some tears of serious bliss to my eyes when I heard that back. That was just nice. That's just so nice, man. Henry uh, on the upright bass, Boots Randolph, and Charlie McCoy on saxophones. Buddy Harmon on drums, and Paul Garrison on percussion. Co-writer Bill D sang high harmony as he did not, uh, as he did on many Orbison songs. Bill Porter served as recording engineer. Bill Board described the song as having a great dance beat coupled with a fine arrangement. Cashbox described it as a catchy, quick beat uh, salute with a number of ear-catching rocking ingredients. Uh, I agree with that, man. I agree with that. Well, this was so nice to take a listen back to, and that's why... For me, it's important, even if I've heard the song, um, and and probably the song I've remembered about 60% of it, okay? 
So it's still important that even if I've heard a song to come back and just listen, man, because it's just a whole different experience. There's new information to be gained listening to it like this. Uh, that's just my opinion, man. Well, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today. I hope you all enjoyed the reaction. I hope you all enjoyed tuning in and uh, with me right now, man. If you did, please consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or Patreon for as little as three bucks. It's an amazing way to support me if you're enjoying the content, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the descriptions down below for other ways you can help the channel. Let me know if there's more from Roy Everson you want me to check out, man. I appreciate that. And I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.